It's time for Cutting Edge Consciousness with Freeman Michaels and Barnett Bain. Thought-provoking discussions and bold ideas from the edge of possibility. Good moment. This is Barnett Bain. I am here with my co-host. That's Freeman your, Michaels. That, that is your cue to, uh, <laughs> I got, to show I got up. lost in thought. Yeah, you are lost in thought. So I am uh, glad to see that you are here in, um, in body as well <laughs> as uh, in thought. I'm just trying to get present. Yeah, well, take your time. Uh, <laughs> uh, so lots and lots going on in the world today. Do you notice how incredibly, incredibly frantic uh, the world? There are so many things going on in the news cycles, so much... Yeah. Uh, so and people's voices, the you know, I'm referring to some of the scandals that are happening or the so called scandals and people are like rushing to jump on something or rushing to defend on something. But there is a quality to the there's a shrillness to the conversation, um, where you want to say uh, or I want to uh, I want to say, but more accurately I should say to myself, this is this is a cue. Yeah. To slow down and take a deep breath. Well, it's a, it's a big cue to choose, you know, because, because look, there's choose. so many distractions that can take us into all kinds of crazy dramas that may not be uh, in our best interest. I mean, it's fine. You can do it, but it's not required. And and to take some res- take some responsibility. Um, we're sitting on the holodeck watching the movie of our life. That's it. And pretending that uh, the those flickering images, whether they're on the screen or on the radio or in the car next to us on the freeway, whatever drama is going on there, that we are totally separate uh, from it. And we are uh, anything but separate from it. But we have today a really special guest, uh, uh, apropos to movies of your life and how to relate to them. Yeah, we have uh, Natalie Ledwell. Who? Natalie Ledwell. Who? (laughs) <laughs> Don't do that to me. I love Natalie Ledwell. <laughs> she I am crazy is an about Natalie awesome Ledwell. friend of ours. She created Mind Movies, which many of you know as an incredible tool uh, to really attract to yourself. What She's awesome, and so is Glenn. And she wrote this incredible book. Which we're both reading right now. And we're both holding it up to our on camera. Look at that. That's, <laughs> that's the first time <laughs> we have ever nice. for our in camera our in studio cameras put two books up on two separate cameras. And what is brilliant about this book is we're talking about imaging or imagining possibilities. And sometimes folks have a tough time with that. It's really helpful to have it illustrated in a story in a parable that makes it accessible. And Natalie, this book is beautiful because that's what you've done. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm very uh, honored to have you both read the book and, uh, and to um, say such lovely things about it. It was a, definitely was a, a work, a labor of love, um, but um, I'm very happy with the result and, and what's actually well, come it's a, about. For our listeners, this is a transformational story that uh, guides you. Uh, it, leads, it guides you but doesn't lead you, which I think is such a delicate balance. Uh, mm. It's such a loving balance. It provides all the tools and uh, all the most ludging, nudging, lo- loving nudges towards um, potentializing us to, uh, to develop our hidden gifts. Uh, and I expect to have a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity by Friday. Now that, <laughs> I, now that I've read this book. What I love about it, Natalie, uh, Barnett and I are both thinkers. We like to think things through, but we get caught up in our heads, both of us. And what I love about this is it's very heartfelt. It's very sincere. It allows us to almost feel our way into the experience. And I know from your perspective, getting your feelings online so it isn't just a concept, these, these, these wantings, you know, these, these possibilities that seem just outside of our current perception, there's a way in. And it's through the felt experience. So can you tell us more about that? Because that's core to this book. Yeah, well, you know, the, the book is fiction. And, and my publisher gave me the advice to write fiction. So I had a little bit more of a poetic license on how I could illustrate these principles um, into a story that was memorable and that was entertaining. Um, but of course, you know, I've never written fiction before. I'm a bit of a how-to girl. Um, so as I'm going through the story, a lot of the uh, situations and the thoughts and the inner you know, the inner misgivings and doubts that uh, my heroine Catherine goes through is really drawn from my personal experience. Right. Um, so, you know... So I, if you want to know all about Natalie, <laughs> read this book. <laughs> you have to read between the lines because a little it's bit, it's very though. thinly disguised. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> but still. 
So uh, what was the, uh, the biggest personal light that went on for you as a result of um, undertaking this enormous and beautiful creative project? And it's an enormous project. Well, you know, I kind of fluffed around with this idea of writing a book for about a year. And um, I, had, I had a bit of an outline. I, had, I actually had a how-to outline, but then I had like this, you know, bit of a story and it wasn't really coming together. And the reason I fluffed around for so long is I had so many personal um, inner limiting beliefs about whether I was really worthy of writing a book or whether I could write fiction. You know, I'm like, who is going to listen to me? I'm this girl from a country town in Australia. And, um, you know, it's like, well, what, what is... You know, why would anyone listen to me? And, of course, once I cleared that and realized that really it's not about me, Mm -hmm. really it's about, you know, um, empowering people with the knowledge to know that they can create the life that they want. Um, I mean, once I realized that and was able to apply these principles, um, it completely changed my life. We've probably had, my husband and I have had the most uh, amazing and successful years of our life um, since the economic crisis hit in 2008. Um, which goes to show that if you apply these principles, it doesn't matter what's happening in the world around you. You can create your own reality. Well, what I love about what you're saying is the process of clearing away, having enough sense of possibility, even though in moments, and I know this from my own, my own life, that in moments the small story, if you will, is gripping, doesn't feel like there's a way through, but enough of me knows there is that I can stay with the journey. And that's so clearly what you're illustrating because the clearing the way through is the work, right? Yes, absolutely. Because so, without being able to do the clearing work um, and to be able to, you know, get past these, these thoughts of unworthiness and, and, you know, not having the ability, um, the book would never have come to fruition. And your character in the book, the Catherine character, is battling with these imagined limitations. That's the whole process of, I mean, that's the whole storyline, right? It is. I mean, the storyline, she's on a press junket, and she's created this amazing movie that's making positive waves around the world. Um, so it's her on these different interviews and, you know, recollecting. Um, but, you know, she's gone from a place where, which I think a lot of readers will be able to identify with, you know, she was in a business she didn't like. She was financially struggling. She um, was not in. She didn't have a relationship, which she totally yearned for. Um, and she was, you know, overweight and not fit. So, you know, she was really. At the, there's one scene there where she's at her lowest of low, um, and uh, she pulls out a glass of wine, a, a glass from the cupboard that holds a whole bottle of wine. Now, I'm not saying that maybe at one time I may have owned a glass like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> but it was at this lowest point that, that the message came to her because she wanted a way out. The message came to her that she actually has a choice. And, you know, through the choices that she makes, she can determine and change the course of her life. Now, you are uh, a wild dreamer. So it's no accident that uh, you refer to wildest dreams. You are a wild, a wild dreamer. Uh, Freeman and I both know you very well. Uh, and so while... while we understand that um, these practices, that uh, there are practices that allow us to uh, have more confidence and more courage to, um, to blow up the bubble of a really wild dream. You are uh, truly gifted at dreaming. So what can you share with our listeners? What are some techniques for wild dreams? That is... It is not a given that everybody has the capacity to be a wild dreamer. Mm. Uh, and it may be latent, but uh, you are really an artist of wild dreaming. You know, I think uh, that the number one thing that, that uh, I actually have gone from struggling to being able to live a life beyond my wildest dreams um, is faith, is trust in the universe, is trust in you know, the power that, that uh, surrounds all of us, that, um, you know, if you're doing the work, if, you're, if you know what it is that you, that you want and you're very clear and the messages that you're giving to the universe are very clear, if the um, visualizations that you have and the actions that you take are in alignment with that, um, you know, by law, the law of attraction does kick in, amongst other laws, to really um, create some serendipitous uh, events in your life that you could never have planned for. 
Um, and once I kind of got to that point and realized, okay, that's how it works. I don't need the whole plan. I just need to, you know, be very clear about what it is that I want and start moving in that direction. Uh, you know, things like writing the book, I throw ridiculously audacious goals out there for myself because I just want to keep proving to myself and to others. Well, that's that, it. You know, it's these ridiculously Th- audacious, uh, these these big, big goals that you throw out. And it's the recognition that um, the big game unfolds in uh, in serendipity and in what and, and in miracles and that these serendipities and these mir- miracles are um are an uh, entirely new level of of flow, and that 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 is our birthright, and that that is the if we were fish, those that are, those are the waters we are going to be increasingly swimming in. So you are you are uh, well ahead of of um, the uh, all us little fishes that are swimming out, that are thrashing <laughs> after you. To, uh, it's great that you are blazing these trails of wildest dreams. Well, I want to I want to weave in another thread too, because while all of this, you know, getting intentional and, and 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 audacious goals and all of this can get very serious, one of the qualities that I think opens lots of doors for you, Natalie, is your spirit of fun, because again, I've had the opportunity to hang out with you and play, and you love to play. So there's a, 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 a bit of a game of this where it's not taking it all so seriously. And, and, and it's, it's almost like for you, the audacious goals are the fun of it, right? Absolutely. You know, my, to, to, there's two of my favorite words in the English language when they're put together is why not? Mm. You know, why not? Why can't we you know, live a life of, of purpose and contribution and then still have fun? You know, um, we, you know, my husband and I love to travel the world and, and, you know, one of the things that we love to do is to meet different people in different cultures and different countries and really learn about humanity, get, expand our, 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 our recognition of humanity. Um, and so I think that makes us, um, you know, more fun because we can, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter who you are, we, we can find a, a level that we can communicate on and that we can connect on. Um, and then, you know, that's how we like to make a difference, through massive connection, uh, wherever we can. Yeah. So uh, you spoke about contribution. Mm-hmm. The, uh, there's an undercurrent of contribution and, um, and giving in all of these wildest dreams. I know you have lots to say about that. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I think part of... Uh, part of having this knowledge and being able to create this life that seriously, I still pinch myself. I'm like, really, I get to live this life? It's um, so far removed from where we were a few years ago. Um, but, you know, having this knowledge and being having this ability, I think it really is my calling to share. You know, uh, there's, there's no point in keeping this information, you know, to yourself. I think it's really important that, um, that, that you know, not only myself, but anyone that's listening, if you have an experience, if you have a message that can help other people, now's the time for you to be able to, to, to spread the word. We're sort of in this incredible perfect storm at the moment where there's a whole awakening of people that are searching for this knowledge. And then there's a whole bunch of us that have this experience and knowledge to share. Um, and so, you know, we're finding each other out there. Um, and it's really helping to raise the consciousness of humanity, I think, um, in, a, in a faster way than we've ever seen before. Wow. So the message, of course, is... I love Natalie. Get wild, <laughs> dream big, and... If you can't tell why fun. we have Natalie on this show as a frequent guest, then um, we need to p- check your pulse. <laughs> 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 so, Natalie, before we let you go, let's give folks some information, because the book, again, folks, is called Never in Your Wildest Dreams. It's uh, Natalie's sort of own story disguised a little bit. Now that's out of the bag, Natalie, uh, in this uh, character of Catherine Murray. Um, But where can folks get the book and find out more about what you're doing? Okay, so they can, um, we actually, uh, at the moment, we're in a sort of a launch mode. So people can go to this special page, which is Mind Movies. It's M-I-N-D-M-O-V-I-E-S. So mindmovies.com forward slash N-I-Y-W-D which is the abbreviation of Never in Your Wildest Dreams. Um, and on there, they find that they can, you know, get the introductory price of the book, which is for nineteen ninety five, And we have a whole bunch of other bonuses and goodies there as well, uh, as well as going into the draw to get to be flown to San Diego, then be put up in a five-star hotel and spend a day with me 
really helping you to, to crystallise a, a plan moving forward um, and to incorporate these, uh, these principles. And so a full one-on-one day coaching with me, which would be awesome. Wow. Oh, I love it. Wow. All right, so folks, if you forget all of that, you can always come to the Cutting Edge Consciousness website and click on or the... Call me. Or call me. <laughs> Barnett doesn't want you to because he's putting his name in the hat. I'm, I, I'm already, uh, I've know, been buying 30 copies up. for yeah, that yeah. day with Natalie. Um, and so thank you, Natalie, so much for spending time with us today. And we, of course, look forward to having you back soon. Absolute pleasure. Thank uh, you, guys. Have right. a fabulous have a fabulous show. Have uh, a wild day. <laughs> all right, for those of you listening, love you. stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages.